Hello world and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would take a venture back memory lane and repaint one of my old paintings. It has been about a year and a half ish since I've painted this painting but I thought I would give it a try see how my style has changed how I would go about painting this piece a year later and that is this painting right here it is my galaxy portrait this was actually a project I had to do for my art class I didn't like it at first when I first painted it but it's kind of grown on me a little bit more I'm usually scared to repaint my old paintings because I'm like, what if I haven't improved? What if my style looks exactly the same? What if the painting I repaint looks exactly like my old painting? But for this piece, since there's so much I want to change about it, I'm excited to see sort of like a different take on this concept except in a new kind of painting that I think it will turn out good. At least I hope so. But I have confidence in our abilities. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So I went ahead and I sketched out kind of what I wanted. As you can see, it's already very different than the original. I wanted to do a sort of like a different pose, but keeping that kind of a peaceful look. So she has the same peaceful look on her face and her hair is kind of going up and that is going to be sort of the galaxy. But I think if you put these two next to each other, you can definitely tell that this is inspired by this, which is kind of what I'm going for, is the same sort of concept and vibe, except I wanna change up the pose and sort of the composition of the piece. So let me go ahead and get my watercolors out and we can start painting. So here I have my painting all prepped and ready to go. I didn't want too much of a border, so I just taped down these two edges right here. Also got out my watercolor set. I am using the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolor set. I have my water over here and my paintbrush is off to the side over here. So we are all ready to get painting. So the first step I'm going to do is lighten out some of the sketch lines with my kneaded eraser. And then I think I'm going to start on the face First, for the face, I want to keep it similar to this where it's a black and white monochromatic-esque color scheme. I'm a little bit scared to start painting because I'm really happy with this sketch and I'm afraid that when I start painting it's going to get all messed up and I'm not going to like it as much. But you know what? We got to push through those feelings. We got to make this painting the best it can be. So let's go ahead and let's get painting. just finished the face area of this painting and oh my gosh am I so happy with it if you look at my old one right here you can see a clear difference in improvement I am absolutely so happy with the way it turned out I was really nervous at the beginning oh my gosh I was so nervous but now I'm like oh, it looks so good I'm so happy with it now it's time for the best most coolest part creating the galaxy hair so what i'm going to do for this is i'm going to wet the entirety of the hair area and kind of dot the colors that i want that will help them spread out and merge into each other and give a cool galaxy effect i want to use the same colors as i did for this piece so let's go ahead and let's do her hair now
Okay guys, this is how our piece is looking thus far. I think it is looking pretty good. The blue and the purple I was able to mix using the watercolors that I had, but to get the pink tone I wanted, I had to use my Hemi gouache set, so I just used this pink. I think this hair is looking pretty good. I think it could look better if we had some thicker strands up at the top and maybe one right here. I also want to go back and fix the hairline a little bit because it's looking a little bit flat to me. Maybe make it look a bit more natural. And then we can add the stars and the finishing touches and we'll be done. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm so excited for this painting. It is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and finish this painting. So guys, I have finished. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with the result. Let me go ahead and bring in my old painting so we can compare the two, new and old. Okay, so this is the original and this is the new version. As you can see, you can tell this painting is definitely inspired by this one. A comparison to this from a year ago to now, I think there is a great jump and improvement, which I'm super relieved and excited about. Sometimes when you're just working, you don't see the improvement until you look back at your old art and you see, whoa, that's how far I've come in my artistic journey. And it's just an amazing process. Of course, it is not the best thing in the world. There will always be room to improve and things I want to change. But yeah, I am pretty happy with the results. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me repainting one of my old paintings. If you would like to see more crafty and artsy content, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later. Bye!